Watch this video to master. Hey, you're done. Now on to the detailed tips to perfect your kata. The first point is the slow movement. This seems easy, but the slower the movement, the harder it gets. You want to show in this part that you're able to use your whole body onto the one kime. So this is a bad example. You can't see any ending to this motion. Rather, start slowly and rotate your hip, your knees bend a little bit more, and your hand comes in place. And you saw that last, that slow kime, right? I was able to finish the movement like, like that. The other side too. So don't just move your arms slowly, move your whole body slowly. The second point is making this MP really strong. So in order to do this, you have to flick back your kick first. So from here, make sure you flick back your kick all the way to here so that you can shift your body weight forward. If your kick is out here and you don't pull back, you just drop down but you want your MP to go this way, right? So don't just drop down. Make sure you pull back and then you push your weight forward. And also, when you finish the kick and do the MP, bend this part down like this. If this becomes straight, then your power is gonna go up. But since you want it to go to the side, make sure you bend here at the very end and then bend. The third point is this block to an attack combination. So from here you go this one. In order to make this strong, you must generate the power from the lower body to this attack. So what you're doing is you're hitting their neck like this. So make sure when you do the MP, your front knee is bent, okay? And from here, turn your toes this way with the heel on the ground and turn this first extend your knee forward the hip turns and the power gets to your hand so one more time toes knees extend and then to the arm and connect it in a single motion and go like this. And make sure this is bent as well. If this is not bent, the motion is going to go up. So make sure your head level stays the same by bending this one. Like this. The next point is the position of your feet when you do the kiai. So from here, you kick and you land. The position of your feet is this. My right leg is forward and my left toes are slightly touching my right heel. This is the correct position of this kosadachi. When you look at it from the front, your thighs should be closed like this. And to have this closed, your left toe and your right heel has to be touching each other. So from here, make sure when you kick, you get your thighs together. Next, I'll be talking about this hand gesture. So after this, 
you turn to the back and you do this. This, what you're doing is you're getting the hand away when someone's trying to grab you like this. So your hand has to be on the same surface like this. So make sure it's not like that. And also, just like the first movement, you want to show that you're able to generate this kime really slowly. So from here, make sure you turn the hand to the front first and slowly um, evade the attack. So the next point is after this block, this oizuki. I think you should focus on getting the gyakugoshi, which means the reverse hip rotation when you do the oizuki. What I mean by that is, from here, if you don't use your hips, this is what it looks like. My hips are open like this. But since this is an oizuki, you want to end like this. So how do you do that? Well, from here, when you kick, your hips are forward. But when you start moving a little bit forward, your hip shifts a little this way, right? But you fix that by extending the back leg like this. From here, this is a bit difficult. Kick, hip straight, hip face a little this way. And, but since your back leg is bent, you push this and you punch. So you saw, I think you saw that last snap. So if I do it smoothly, it's like that. Like this. The last point is this block while moving forward. To make this strong, you must turn your hip at the very end and move the hand the other way. So it's a bit confusing, so let's take a step by step. So let's say you start here. First, let's do the arm, or legs. Your legs go together, straight, 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 and then turns. Straight, 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 turn. I, um, I did a detailed cover in the Koksudachi video, so please check that out for the more detail. But this is the overall leg movement. So how does your arm move? Well, from here, first, when your legs go together and they face forward, your arms face the, turn the other way. So it's the left side. And when your hip turns this way, your arm goes this way. So it turns the other way. So see how my hips went like this, but my arms went this way. It's the same with the other side as well. <laughs> so make sure you're using that um, twist to the other way to generate power. Next is the bunkai. The first one we're going to be doing is in the kata is this. So how do you apply this in the bunkai? Well, this is what you do. So you block, first he punches, you block, this is obvious. In the kata it was a block, but let's pull back the hand and hit him right here, between the eye and the ear. So it's Ba, ba. So one more time. Ba, ba. Like this. The second bunkai, we're going to be using from here this as the bunkai. So let me show it to you first. Ba, ba. So what I'm doing here is this. So if someone punches, you block just like the kata. From here, you take their dogi, you knee them in the stomach. Well, since I couldn't do it full speed, I did it a bit slowly. And then you get your leg behind their knee. And since you're holding onto the dogi already, 
you just swipe and punch. So it's pretty simple, but I think this is one of the interesting um, sides of Bunkai, where in the kata it was just this, but this is actually a throw. So that was it for the tutorial of Heian Yondang or Yodang. If you'd like to see more of the Heian kata tutorial or any Shotokan kata tutorial, please subscribe to our channel and hit on the notification bell. Also, I've already made the kata tutorial from Heian Shodan to Heian Sandang, so please check that out. And let me know which kata you want us to cover. See you guys next time.